All right, now we're going to look at glowing things, basically how to take and make things in Photoshop and bring them into After Effects as glowing little orb objects. It's a very fun project for students. So we're going to get started with Photoshop. And in Photoshop, we'll make a new composition. The new composition is new, 1920 by 1080, and hit OK. I'm also using the mode 32 bit because I have a larger gambit of colors. If I choose my colors, you'll see that I have a huge range of colors here. Absolutely huge. And just to compare it, you should back it down to image mode 8 bit and see the difference between how many colors you really have. In this case, I'm going to use a gray and I'm going to fill the background with gray. I can't use the fill tool in 32 bit mode. I got to go edit, fill, and then fill with foreground color. I'll make a new layer and I'm going to play around with these brushes. So these are linear dodge add for the brush. I have my normal soft brush on. And over here on the new layer, I'm also choosing linear dodge add. And I'm just going to play around with making these little orb objects. Okay, cap locks off so I can see my brush. And I'm going to choose a color. In this case, I'll choose maybe just any random color. I'll plop it down a couple times. I could choose a different type of brush, maybe a textured brush. Okay, now I got this little nebula, and if I want to choose to go over the top of the little nebula again, there I got these, and this is endless. You can make millions of these, and they're all kind of cool. It all depends what you want to do. Like, I'm just going to take and make a few layers of these, maybe three different layers, and I'll show you different ones that I've made. Like, you could just make the atypical one glowing orb of doom, just like that, by making your brush smaller and working your way in. Shut that one off. Make another one. What I use is the mid-tones, though. That's common. Sometimes I click that one, and then I'll click a texture. Make the texture like that, and then click over the top of it with the soft brush again. There we go. All kinds of those. They look like particles. And if you switch them over to linear dodge add, they get brighter. If you use normal, they look a little bit different. If you use any of the ones to, like lighten, looks different. So now that we have these little particles, we're going to bring them into After Effects and just kind of look at them for a second. Because there's something that you have to know about After Effects that I'm not telling you. In this case, I'm naming it Glow, and I'm going to bring it right into After Effects as a Photoshop file. In this case, I'm just going to import the file, import it as Glow, and import it as a composition. That way, all the layers come in with it. So I have all these layers. You can see each one of them. If I double-click Glow, it doesn't look anything like that, however. And the trick here is, if you click down below, here and then here, I can switch the modes over to linear dodge add. But there is none. There's no linear dodge add. There's add and screen and color dodge and the classic color dodge, but not that. So you're going to have to find one that kind of translates back into After Effects. In this case, what I usually do is turn all the ones off and work on them one at a time. In this case, this one looks nice on color dodge. Okay, the next one doesn't look that bad the way it is lightened. And this one doesn't look too bad under linear color. But I could try to see if lightened worked better. Or add. Okay, in this case, not much change. Now you can use these later on, or you can use them as background sprites. Um, for right now, we're just looking at how to make them glow and how to bring in very glowy things from Photoshop as, as a beginning intro thing. But just know that 
if I want to add something like an effect to it, I could. Like over here, I could type in the effect glow. And this would reach to um, here. I'm just going to go to this layer. Double click on it. Stylize glow. And now I can do this. I can back the threshold down, back the threshold up, and you can see I'm making all kinds of crazy particles just out of these things that I brought from Photoshop. It's pretty neat, and there's no doubt about it. There's no end to it. And now all the effects are actually keyable. So if you look here, I have the ability to key any one of these, just like I did before on other things. Um, my timeline's kind of small because of the simple fact I, I'm in these effects, so I can take and ex unexpand these. That way I could choose maybe to time glow radius. Okay, and if I take glow radius and put it up, you can see now I have a moving particle. And I can have it pulsate down again. And it takes a while to actually process these, but when you do, they do look pretty amazing. So I think I'll stop it here. This is just bringing in glowing things from Photoshop and let you play around with the fact that now you have these things. What can you do with them? And then we'll look at more effects that you can do in the next video.